Hi, my name is Phelim O'Leary, and I'm one of the course developers on a new course called VMware vSphere with Kubernetes Deploy and Manage. In this short video, we're going to just discuss what you will learn in this new course. This course will be three days in duration, and we will have instructor-led options available from June 2020 this year. This course is intended for experienced system administrators looking to deploy and manage vSphere with Kubernetes. It's important that you have a prior background in vSphere as this course assumes at least VCP level knowledge in vSphere. This course is also intended for vSphere administrators that currently do not have any prior Kubernetes or container experience. Throughout this three-day course, we're going to start off with an introduction to containers and Kubernetes. This course takes into account that participants will not have prior knowledge of containers and Kubernetes. So the first thing we will do is get everyone up to speed on the basics of containers and introduce the concepts of Kubernetes. Then we will dive into the vSphere with Kubernetes itself with an introduction into its main features, its main components and the networking. Module four then will dive a little bit deeper into the core services of vSphere with Kubernetes. Module five will take us through the vSphere with Kubernetes namespaces. Module six will introduce the VMware Tanzu Kubernetes grid service and show us how this service can be used by developers to self-provision OCI compliant Kubernetes clusters using the Tanzu Kubernetes grid service. Module seven, we'll look at monitoring and troubleshooting from the vSphere administrator's perspective. And the last module, module eight, will deal with the vSphere with Kubernetes lifecycle, as it does slightly differ from the traditional vSphere lifecycle. Thank you, and I hope you'll enjoy this course on VMware vSphere with Kubernetes, Deploy and Manage. Thank you.